Welcome to Catchfish Not Feelings. I finally speared my first calico bass, aka the kelp bass. Unfortunately, I ran into some GoPro issues and wasn't able to get enough footage, so this is all I have. There were plenty of small schooling fishes like smelt and blacksmith perches swimming around, and in this drop, I dove right to the bottom, around 15 feet ish, decided to crawl around at the bottom and just hunt. And then, in the corner of my eye, I saw a big figure. Unfortunately, my camera was angled a little too low, but in that moment, I stayed as calm as I could, took my aim, and shot it right through the gills. And this is where the footage stops. At the good part, of course. After our dive, we did a little catch and cook with some sargos my buddy and I caught. And stay tuned if you want to learn how to make a Chinese style steamed calico or some ceviche. Hope you guys enjoy this little catch and cook. <laughs> <laughs> a good session today. Uh, visibility wasn't that great. The swells picked up. It was kind of rough. But I scored this nice calico, 17 inches, about almost 3 pounds. The sargo right here. And Brandon scored this sargo. But, oh yeah, I'm gonna make fish tacos out of these two, and I'm gonna save this for next time. I'm probably just gonna add music over these clips, the cooking one. <laughs> I'm too lazy to talk. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I've filleted every fish that I've caught, almost. Brandon's an expert dude. He's caught so many fishes. It's not bad. Mm. It's a little bit. Oh, that's pretty clean, actually. Yeah. Nice. Well, sort of. Yeah, the sargo kind of had that, like, white sea bass color. I like outdoor chef life. Okay. I mean, not outdoor chef life. Who's the one with the butter? Oh, fish uh, fishman's life. Just a little bit of butter. Just a little bit of butter. Sure. Watching the, yeah, we're cooking. the calico roe. Hopefully, it's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's delicious. We all got wraps to eat. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Woo! So Dang, those folding skills. Learn from the Vietnamese rolls that we see. Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's it? Mm. Mm. No, fish is good. <laughs> right, Dude, this is so, we are back in the home kitchen. Here is me filleting my calico. The meat was beautiful. Very white and flaky. And it seems like I did a good job bleeding it out. I ended up having two decent sized fillets and so I'm, as I'm filleting it, I'm trying my best to just slice as close as I can to the bones. That way, I'm getting the most amount of meat possible from each fillet. You can also hear the knife hitting the bones too. So with one fillet, let's start off with the Chinese style steamed fish. First, slice up some green onions like so. Next up is our ginger. Use a spoon to scrape off the skin and then cut into thin matchsticks. Now let's set up our bowl and steam basket. So I put a fillet in and the collars in as well too. And I place ginger and green onions all around. Then I poured a soy sauce and sugar mixture all over the fish. I put it in the steam basket and let it steam for about 15 to 20 minutes 
and it all depends on the size of your fish and once that fish is done cooking I topped it off with more green onions and then finished it off with some hot sesame oil for more flavor it's a nice healthy dish where you can enjoy that nice flaky fish texture one of my other favorite dishes to make has gotta be ceviche it's simple, easy to make, and delicious. We're gonna start off by slicing up our fishes into bite-sized cubes. Next, let's dice up our veggies. Starting off, I'm using red onions, tomatoes, serrano peppers, and cilantro. I realized I forgot to add cucumbers to this dish, but you're free to add any other veggies you like. The next important step is to cut our limes. You'll want to pour enough lime juice into your bowl of fish and veggies until it's barely covered. That way the lime juice can cook the fish and veggies. I still can't get over how great that fish meat looks. It's just so nice and flaky. Don't forget to add your seasoning such as black pepper, salt, and cayenne pepper. And you want to give everything a really good mix. The acidity of that lime juice is gonna cook your fish for you. Cover it and leave it overnight in the fridge and your fish is done when it turns opaque. And that's how you make ceviche. Serve with tostadas or chips and enjoy.